What an absolutely beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest. These, these days in March just do not happen enough. Just thought I'd share it with you. It is gorgeous out. Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to give you another quick little update on uh, all the stuff that we've done this year, getting ready for uh, the season 2021, because uh, it's been a lot. Um, we're done though, we finished. Everything's done, everything's been completed. It, uh, it was a great build. We really enjoyed ourselves, I think. Um, things went together really, really well. Didn't have many, uh, many issues. Uh, the biggest issues we had were really just waiting on parts and getting that stuff in. So, what all did we do? Man, like I said, we've done a ton, ton of work on this thing. So, starting up in the engine bay, as I said before in uh, one of the other updates, we uh, we went to a tubular front end. We lost a ton of weight there. Um, we haven't put it on a scale yet, but we have at least lost 100 pounds, maybe more than that. Um, which I think we wrote down about 28, 2,900 pounds. Um, don't quote me on that. So like I said, tubular front end, um, then a torque converter, I'm sorry, yeah, torque converter. I believe it was a 3,500 uh, RPM stall on that. Um, we did a torque storm supercharger. This thing is nasty, nasty. We've got so much damn horsepower now, it's unbelievable. It's scary fast. You know what, as I'm speaking about this, you know what, take a look, check this out. <laughs> Here we go. I can't talk right now. I'm doing hot guy shit. crazy right this thing is so fast it is scary scary violent fast I cannot wait to get this thing on a proper drag strip this is gonna be an amazing year um, so many other things gosh there's so many things I had to write write it all down here on the on a, on a piece of paper um, so like I said we added a uh, new torque converter uh, about 3500 rpm stall it uh, it should help us out there um, what else a new 850 CFM carburetor that came with the supercharger. It's nasty. Um, like I said, tubular front end, of course. Um, removed all of the factory wiring. We had some issues there last year, uh, starting out, stalling and, and such. Um, we attributed to maybe the wiring. We're gonna find out here soon enough. April 3rd, Bremerton. Um, less than almost two weeks away. Uh, really, really looking forward to it. Um, so like I said, we took all that factory wiring out, put in a custom wiring harness, did all that myself. Um, it was awesome, a lot of fun, really learned a lot there. Uh, what else? We made a fuse relay board. Again, first time I've ever done that, it was awesome. Uh, that seems to be working well. 
we new valve covers we had to get new valve covers um, one of them is a custom valve cover uh, we had to send it to a guy had to uh, take that thing up and uh, yeah the reason we had to do it was because of the new supercharger the uh, the way the piping is we needed a little bit more room there uh, into the valve cover so um, had to get that taken care of all right we also added an electric water pump we figured that might lose a little weight help out in the end um, kind of moving that way anyhow um, new hood scoop gosh we needed more room we needed more room under the uh, the hood so we had to uh, get a new hood scoop um, so that's been installed and uh, it looks awesome so beyond all that what else did we do we removed the passenger seat which was more weight that thing uh, it was probably another 15 20 pounds 25 pounds maybe more uh, new fuel pump that thing went bad as we were testing stuff out so we needed to add a new one of those um, hopefully that won't give us any more problems Remove all of the factory dash components. Uh, you'll see in some of the videos, maybe a couple pictures here I throw up, that uh, we took all that stuff out and added our own, made a, uh, a new custom aluminum dash insert. All right, guys, so that's it. That's all the stuff that we did to the car. Really looking forward to April 3rd, like I said there at Bremerton, uh, getting this thing out there and really testing out everything that we did. Uh, there's a 67 F100 there we built behind me. It's filthy. Sorry for that. Um, but anyway, like I said, looking forward to it. Can't wait to get out there. Um, hope to see some of y'all out there. Let me know down below what you think of the build. We, uh, we worked really hard. Uh, things weren't going great there at the beginning, waiting on parts and such. We weren't sure if we were going to get done in time, but, you know, obviously we did two weeks ago. So I'm um, super happy about that. Um, like I said, let me know what you think down below. If you enjoyed some of this content, you might like it. Subscribe. Kind of helps us out. Um, but beyond that, really looking forward to this race season. Really looking forward to a normal, normal year, quote unquote. Last year was kind of screwed. But anyway, I digress. Let's get after it. Looking forward to it. As always, drive fast.